Use case number two. Whenever a lead record is updated, set the lead status to working contacted. Right now, what are the crucial questions we need to ask? What are we doing here? Which object is it? It's the lead object, so we have to write the trigger on the lead object. Right? What is the event? The event is the update event. Right? And what are we trying to do? There is a field that's called lead status. We need to set it to working contacted. Right? So we are doing a field update on the same record. Can I use the before context? Yes, I can use the before context. So let's go ahead and code this out. So let's go back and now create a new trigger. What object do I want to create it for? It would be the lead object. I'll say lead trigger and I'll go back and I'll say lead submit. Right? And here instead of the before insert, I'll have the before update event and I'll say if trigger dot is before and trigger dot is update in this case what i want to do i want to iterate over my lead records which are present in the trigger.new variable i hope you are familiar with trigger.new now and all i need to do is lead rec dot stage i believe the field name is stage or status i just want to set it as working contacted let's save it let's see what's the name of this field it might give me a problem if it is incorrect yeah so variable stage does not exist. So let's say file open objects lead and under lead I should see something that's either status or stage name something like that. Let's see. So there's status right. Let's see if it is the status field. Save. Do I need to do any additional database operations? No, I am on the before context, right? Do I have trigger.new available on the update scenario? Yes, trigger.new and trigger.old both are available in the update context okay and it is on the lead record cool the only field we wanted to update is the status field and we wanted to set it to working contact let's take a look at a lead record for instance and let's see let's go to all the all open leads and i see bertha boxer let's say this one jeff glimpse right so every as soon as i change the lead this is the status field right and we have modified the status field cool so let's just say i want to update the mobile number right let's say we we got their mobile number and we are ready to contact them i'll just save save mobile number and say save okay if you notice the lead status has changed to working contacted okay let's refresh this so that the path is updated let's refresh so i don't see it here on the path maybe some issue with the path component but you see that the lead status has been updated to working contacted okay Cool. That was our second use case.